I'm Jake Gosling, I'm a music producer, songwriter. In the last couple of years, I've worked with uh, the likes of artists such as Ed Sheeran, Play of Faith, uh, One Direction, Pro Green Example. I've never had a playlist in my heart. Oh, now I need an A-list just to chart. It's really important to have that relationship between the artist and the producer. I mean, I'm like the, the go between the record company, the management, and the artist. I'm in the middle of, of that creative catalyst and I'm trying to make the album or the track, whatever it might be, communicate to people. As an artist or a producer, you need to work with as many people as possible and find that relationship. I never went into it thinking, I want to do this for money. I think that's the wrong way to think about it. Um, if you want a long-term career in it, I think you have to um, understand that it's about the music, it's about the communication, it's about the songs. Everything else will hopefully, if it works, it will come later. Even though your mum and dad are probably going, get a job, you know, get out there and, and, and make some money. But you know, you, find, you have to find ways and means of doing that. And doing it in your bedroom, doing it after school, you know, doing it at the weekends, you know, I, that's, those are the sort of things I was doing. Songs are really, really important. With Plum of Faith, you know, they were, when, we, when I did her album, it was like there were, you know, tons. I mean, she'd been writing for a whole year, so there were hundreds of songs. And it was a matter of going through them with, with, with Nellie Hooper, who also produced it, and we sat and, and listened to all different songs, and I like that, I like that. Um, we sit there with a pad and we tick and like literally go through it like doing, you know, a sort of study of what we felt were the strong tracks. And out of that, we then homed in and had um, a selection of tracks we felt were right, but it's so important to have the right songs as well. When you're, when you're recording the band, you take them to the studio, it's really important that you don't take away the essence of the band. By that I mean, if the guitarist has got his guitar amp, then you use his guitar amp. You know, you're not suddenly gonna, or the drummer will have his own drums. It, may, it doesn't make sense to go, okay, cool, well, now you're signed or whatever, or even if you're not, let's get a big amp and, let, and let's change the drum kit and let's, you know, make a sort of a fake imitation of, of what the band is. You know, it needs to be what they are. That's what is exciting and that's what people buy into and that's what people want to be part of. If you're a new artist, it's about communicating at a level that makes sense at that point. If you suddenly overproduce, when I mean overproduce, you suddenly you go, right, let's put loads of strings on it and horns and drums. And sometimes I think for a new artist, it can be a bit much. I think the main thing is to experiment, uh, experiment with your sounds. Don't just stick to maybe just plugins on your computer. Get a microphone and, and, you know, try, you know, go to charity shops, you know, just get some old bit of gear or, you know, get some, it doesn't need to cost a lot of money is what I'm saying. With Ed Sheeran, the mic I used was a £200 mic. I did the whole album on a £200 mic on Cubase 3. So it goes to show that you don't need to have like tons and tons of money or whatever. If you've got good ideas, you can get them down, then that's all you really need. 